how to play in friction. So having, you know, three tech, having a, a two eye, having those guys like right in front of them, that every time you take one of those reps and you're out of your base or you're in your base, you feel the good, you feel the bad. So being more consistent that way, um, you know, you can't make moves or shift guys if they're not mentally there. And so for him, he's got a pretty good football FQ. So he's continuing, he's growing every day. He's working and he's getting beat every day too. And he's learning from those, you know, so in the springtime, you know, we have a saying in our room, like in the spring, it's yes and it's no. And the no is K-N-O-W. Why didn't the rep work? What happened? And how do I make sure I don't repeat the same mistake? And so whether he's coming in and watching the tape on his own and then coming with questions, he's grabbing me and watching tape with me or we're coming and doing stuff as a unit. He's learning so that the same deal, the game can slow down and he gets more comfortable than with friction. So, I mean, he's, his weight's up, his strength's up. He's been off season with Nick. You know, there's a lot of development that still has to be had. Uh, obviously not a finished product, but being able mentally for a guy to handle that, you know, helps a lot.